everybody, it's Jessica from the Art of Education. And today I have some attention getters for the art room to help you get your students attention. Now some of these are more elementary art focused, but having experience in middle school and high school, I know they can sometimes be even harder to get the attention of. So these can be used across the board, they're quick, they're simple, they're fun, and they will get your students attention so you can give them the instructions that they need. The first one I'd like to share with you is hey hey ho ho. Go something like this. I say, hey, hey, and the students say, ho, ho, and then after ho, ho, silence, nothing, okay? And you do it as many times as you need to until after ho, ho, it's silent. That's kind of a fun one. Um, another one that I use with my students all the time is um, a clap chant. And this one is great for in the middle of a project when you've finished one step and you're ready to move on to the next step. Like you've done your drawing and Sharpie and now it's time to paint. So it's a big transition moment in your lesson. And it goes something like this. Next step, next step, next step, last time, eyes on me, first grade. And they all know, okay, it's time for the next step. She's going to be telling us something big, something important. I really want to know what happens next. That's why I like to use the phrase next step. The third one I want to share with you is just some sort of musical instrument. I know maybe you've done this before, but I would suggest um, changing up your instrument if you have several, like a chime, a beautiful chime. And after that chime goes, it's time to listen. Um, I use a bell, like a little desk bell, ding or even a, um, like a block and a hammer, click, click. Some sort of instrument to activate their brain in a different way and a sound that says to them, oh, it's time to look up and see what's going on. The fourth attention getter I wanna share with you is um, counting down. Now this is a really popular tactic and sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but a teacher recently told me that some classes need counting down. Basically you're just saying, I need your eyes and ears in five, four, three, two, one, and I go to zero. And counting down helps some students who have a really hard time settling, they're, they're way up here, helps them give them that time to, okay, put their pencil down, think about it, okay, now I'm gonna look up. And sometimes it seems like the simplest of tricks, but it works. For certain classes, you use counting down. You can count from 10, from three to five, whatever your students happen to need at that time. Um, the last one I wanna share is, um, Something that I learned from whole brain teaching, which I've done some posts about and I can link here for you. And it's just class and they respond with yes. But it's not just as simple as saying class, yes. It uses the whole brain. So you need to experiment with voices, which I do all the time in all of these tactics. I, I change my voice because again, that activates that brain in, in their thinking that makes them say stop, oh, something's different. So you could go class, and they could all respond with yes. Or you could say class and they'll say yes. Or you could go class and they'll say yes. And it's kind of fun, you can mix it up. People even say classity class and they say yesity yes. And I know your students will really like this and it will also help them um, activate that brain to, to listen to you, to get ready for something different, a transition. Because we know transitions can be really hard for students. So anything we can do like these attention getters can help our students um, deal with those transitions better and get ready to learn and listen to our instruction so we can teach them all the wonderful art things that we have to share. So I hope you use these attention getters. Maybe you have some more in the comments you'd like to share with us that you use to get your students' attention. And um, be sure to, um, Stop on by to the Art of Ed for lots more great Art Ed ideas just for you. Thanks. Have a great day.